Hey YouTube, this is Apple Stuff Tutorial here with another iTunes tutorial, and it will be my last one about iTunes. Uh, this is everything that we haven't covered so far, including the home sharing, Genius, iTunes DJ, and how to make and create and delete playlists. So let's get started. For home sharing, uh, this is for your home, clearly. It says here, home sharing helps you manage your family's iTunes collection by copying iTunes store purchases among your computers in your home. So basically, iTunes will automatically copy your purchases, anything that you buy on I in the iTunes store, and put them in the libraries of everyone else, like up here in the library, of everyone else in your house that has the same ID connected to each computer. It's a very unique idea. And in this way, money won't be spent accidentally, or money won't be wasted, or everything can be monitored by the person that's in charge. Um, very great idea by Apple. That's home sharing. Okay, the genius, it, it was quite a genius idea if I may say so myself. <laughs> so genius, it says here, makes playlists and mixes from songs in your library that go to great together. It takes different songs and movies and TV shows that are in the same, uh, same area, I w I'm not going to say genre, but the same area of the music that's in your music library, movies library, or, I or TV shows library, so these three up here, and it'll actually create uh, lists that it feels matches your song choice or your TV show choice, and it makes playlists, it has there's a sideboard side sideboard sidebar in um, that you can create that will actually show other songs on the side. It will recommend songs to you in the iTunes store. It ha it can create mixes, which is actually really incredible. It'll just keep going and going and going. That's an awesome idea by Apple. Uh, sorry, a genius idea by Apple. Now we're going to go into iTunes DJ. DJ, I tried to play around with this a little bit. It's exactly it would be the perfect thing for sort of an outdoor oh look at that I don't really know what that is but that's kinda cool anyways <laughs> um, it would be a great idea for an outdoor party or a party where you need to set up music and you have it on your computer but you don't feel like burning a CD or anything like that it takes your whole music library up here see this is exactly what is gonna appear when I click on iTunes DJ same exact thing and it'll take a song and put it up here, and it'll play that song, and once it's done, it'll line up another song. So let's... I can't show you an example. So that song is almost over. Let's see if it does it right. Will it? Yeah, see, now, then it moves on to another song. And the coolest thing about it is that it'll hide the song so that it can't be played again in this iTunes DJ uh, mode. So you could play all of these songs, and then when you're out of songs, it'll it'll let you know. It'll beep or something. That's a very, very cool uh, feature of iTunes. That's sort of just, that could be one single reason, and that would be the only reason for someone to download iTunes. That I, That's a great idea. Okay, now let's get to playlists. That You see that iTunes DJ was under playlists. Genius was under genius. That's a genius idea. I'm going to stop now, okay. Um, and shared, home sharing, it all makes sense where everything is. So, um, for playlists, you can create your own playlists. They have some pre-made pre ones here, I didn't delete them yet. This is 90s music. They have classical music, which they have more organized, because uh, classical music has so many composers, so many different groups, um, so many different genres, like, not genres, but types of music, types of instruments that are being used. They have music videos, which are actually like movies sort of or TV shows I don't know what they put them under actually I think when you download music videos from the iTunes store you're actually downloading them into the music section right here so that's that um, my top rated that's with uh, let's say you wanted to rate like three stars will it show up no I guess you have to have it as five stars anyways the point that I'm trying to get across is uh, point that I'm trying to get across is that it will play your top rated songs, your five star rating songs. Recently added is everything that you recently added to the um, your iTunes library. Look at that, the two star one there. Recently played are things that you've recently played, like I accidentally recently played that song just now for you. Over here, notice I've gone over this, but this is the number of plays that you've had 
uh, before with each episode of, or episode, or song, or whatever. I played it once, and now I played it twice. Will it change? If we go up here, no, didn't change, but that's what that is. Okay, and then top 25 most played. Those are the songs, the movies, whatever that you've seen the most. See, uh, plays up here too. I sort of deleted my whole iTunes account and library just to show you uh, everything, just to, to enable in order to do tutorials. So that's all about the pre-made playlist, but you can also create your own playlist. See I, how I clicked over here on this plus button? I created a playlist, and I'm going to name it Apple Stuffs. Look at that. And you through playlists, you can also burn CDs, and you can share with friends. You can email them. You can also put them on ping, which I've shown you before. Uh, in order to add songs to playlists, you go into your library where you have the music already added to, and you can highlight a selection. Also, I'll teach you a cool trick that not many people know. In order to highlight a great amount of things, you can, instead of dragging one by one, what you can do is click on the first one that you want to get to the last one, and you hold the shift button, and then you click again, and you get all of the selected ones. So then we'll click and drag them and put them in our Apple Stuff's playlist. They're the right there. So instead of playing your whole music library, you're actually going to be playing just the things that are inside of this one playlist. It's like creating folders. Um, these functions down here, I'll go over them real quick. This is uh, shuffling songs. Oh, it's not playing. It'll sort of, it'll shuffle them so that it'll play them differently every time. And this is uh, repeat. It'll keep repeating the same song. Uh, and this is, oh, wow, I actually have, oh, right, that's the the artwork uh, thing. So if I had a uh, song that had any artwork, I could, it, sorry about that. If I had a song that had any artwork, I would click up here, and the artwork would be there. Also, um, I might be going too far, but you can add artwork to a song. Let's do that right now. Okay. So we have all of these selected. Let's add a picture. Oh, now you get to see all of my tutorials. Look at this. We'll drag this picture in there. How's that? It's processing. That's a good thing. This is something that I'm actually learning as I'm giving you a tutorial. So I guess it benefits me. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's done. Oh, gotta go like that. Okay, let's see. Let's view the artwork. Ah, there it is. That's a picture that I just dragged in that you just saw down here. That's a very cool function. I did not know about that. And here's a sidebar for you. Um, yeah, there's... Um, this is actually my ping uh, account. And also, another important thing that I haven't told you yet is this section right down here. This will tell you the amount of songs that you have, how many hours all of the songs equal, and the total memory space that it's taking, taking up. So this is 114.4 megabytes that it's taking up on my hard drive. Or that would be the amount that if I were to put all of these songs onto an iPod, that's how much it would take up. This is the amount of time that it would take to play all of the songs, 1.3 hours, and the amount of songs, 16 songs. So that is everything that I could possibly teach you about iTunes. I hope you enjoyed this series of uh, tutorials. So this is Apple Stuff signing off, and please comment below, rate, five stars, subscribe, like, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks.